Welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting video. Yeah, I know you're asking where the heck are you? Why are you starting the vlog here? This is a part of the bus that we haven't really shown before and that's for good reason. It's the least finished part. It's always like been a huge mess back here. We're in the mm -hmm. very back, I guess like the garage. Yeah, <laughs> the school it's like bus. my tool shed. For months when we first started, yeah. this was just packed with stuff we couldn't even get back here. It was just piled with unsorted boxes <laughs> of tools. Yeah, but ever since we got the boxes installed mm -hmm. underneath mm -hmm. the bus, Louie's been able to move pretty much everything down there. And this has been cleared out and our vision for a long time has been to turn this into like a home gym, um, especially yeah, the first few months that we were on the road, we like got rid of a lot of our equip like workout equipment from when we were in LA and it hasn't been great. I've really missed a lot of it and we both haven't been feeling like we've been like on a good mm -hmm. workout routine. So I think this will really inspire us and make us feel more excited about working out again and being active. The thing is though, this environment is not very inspiring at the moment. Yeah, it's <laughs> dirty back here. This is like painted black there's like loads of exposed things toolboxes so yeah we're going to try and make it nice back here so we can get mm -hmm. in so we're like excited about a routine yeah. of exercise because i think when we're traveling and on the road that's like the hardest thing is to get into routine mm -hmm. and kind of live healthy i mean we're doing quite good eating healthy yeah. but i think just yeah getting into exercise an exercise routine would be amazing yeah so we need to beautify this space we need to make it more practical mm -hmm. And then I'm just we're looking gonna. Around, there's like so much to do. I know. It's bad. It looks really bad. But all right, let's get started. Let's do it. Okay. So I'm thinking, we clean, clean as much of this off as possible. Sweep, mop yeah. all of this, um, and then we can start painting and then wallpaper. Yeah, let's do it. So from the bedroom area, there's this white curtain that we always have closed because. It's just never been nice back here. Let me show you. I mean, this paint is chipping from who knows how many years ago. It's like super dirty. Wow, there's painting tape is. from, what do you think, five, six years ago? Easily, yeah. Yeah. And look at all this. It's really, yeah. really nasty. I also just noticed, what is that hole? There's a <laughs> literal hole. Yeah, that was where the solar panel wires originally came in, so I need to fill that in. I need to fill this in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, I mean, when you have a, such a small space, you don't want black to like take mm. sunlight away. So we need to make this a bit brighter, more fun, hide these in some way and yeah, just make this space inspiring. We got some little curtains to put across here. Hopefully we can make that work and a little curtain across here. All right, we need, first off, we need to get painting. Cleaning and then painting. I'll go in and buy some. We last night we deliberately parked next to Lowe's so we can run in and buy anything we need, like supplies. Mm -hmm. So that was our tactical parking spot. Mm -hmm. So I think we need some white gloss paint. I think I've got some white emulsion paint for painting the wood. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Okay, you go and get the paint, and I'll clean up the floor. Okay, perfect. Before we paint the walls, it's really important that we clean them because, yeah, there's like gunk everywhere, the ceiling's been leaking. Yeah, definitely need to clean it so that the paint can stick to a good, clean surface. I thought this was gonna be really satisfying and clean off, but it's not. I think it's stained. Oh, wow, that is not budging. Okay. Not the before and after I was hoping for. <laughs> Here's Lily, walk around outside. And it's time to remove this painting tape that should have been removed about six years ago, I think. It's like completely just falling apart. Okay, nice. This is coming off in one one big piece. But yeah, some of these parts are like <laughs> just dried on forever. And if I tell you how I feel when you be good to me, good to me. doing 
doing an amazing job painting, getting this side, like the back of the bus done. Originally, I thought we should paint this black area white, but Raya had a better idea, and she picked out this wallpaper with leaves on. Kind of matches our van in the UK, so I'm gonna start wallpapering this side, and now that Raya's moved on to the end, and then hopefully, once she's finished painting that, I can do the wallpaper. She'll whip up some lunch, and then after lunch, we can start putting up the curtains. That's the plan. We've only got like two hours or so until the sun goes in, but we've got some light so we can keep working after the sun sets. Yeah. We're ready to go progress. It's looking hey. much better. It is, it is. This lens is hilarious. Okay, that's my face. It's like a potato. Am I a potato? Uh, you're not even in it right now. Yeah. But normally, yeah. Normally. Was I just now? The whole time you're cleaning. It's all right. People understand. No, they don't. Guys, you need to understand <laughs> this lens because it's so wide. My face looks normal in the middle, and as I move to the edge of the lens, it stretches all the way out. So, if you ever see a potato-looking face in the corner, <laughs> me, <laughs> of Raya, then that's not her normal face. <laughs> I've done the measurements for the wallpaper. I've taken outside and I am going to cut some strips ready. Actually, I'm going to cut one strip and then line up the pattern and then cut the second strip. I've had a bit of practice at this because of the, the wallpaper in the van in the UK. Like I said, if you haven't seen that, very similar deal. So let's give this a go. Thank you to Anchor for sponsoring this video. If you ask any van lifer or bus lifer, one of the top things you absolutely need is a portable power station. And before we upgraded our solar system, we would run out of power almost daily. And even now, as we're quite far north, we're coming up to winter, the sun is setting super early, so we can't always rely on the solar. We've been using a portable power station like this for years, and this is one of the best ones we've used. The Anker 521 portable power station is compact, perfect for bringing along on road trips or if you're going camping. It's got huge capacity. You can charge an iPhone 12 more than 20 times, a MacBook Air 2020 four to five times. You can power six devices at the same time thanks to a USB-C port, two AC outlets, two USB-A ports, and one vehicle class outlet. It's got a 60 watt USB-C port that can charge an iPhone three times faster than an original charger. It has a long lasting lithium ion phosphate battery used in electric vehicles that offers six times more usage than the conventional battery. It's solar compatible. You just connect with a solar panel to recharge the station. It's got high speed recharging. You can fully recharge recharge the Anker 521 portable power station in just two and a half hours. If you're planning on doing any camping, long road trips, van life or bus life, you absolutely need a portable power station like this. It's also great as a backup to have at home in case the power goes out. This could really make a great holiday gift for someone or for yourself. Just click the link in the description down below to check it out. All right, let's get back to fixing up this gym. I've done the first coat on the whole back side of the bus and I'm gonna let that paint dry while I make us some lunch. And I made this last night and it was actually really good, so I'm gonna make it again. I want to show you guys. Basically, I'm just taking ramen noodles. These are from Public Goods and they don't have like MSG or any of that kind of stuff inside. And I'm just gonna, instead of just making these as the instructions say, I'm gonna spice them up a little bit and add quite a few things. So I'm gonna basically boil them and then saute them with a bunch of other stuff. I've got garlic, soy sauce, miso, mushrooms, red pepper, tofu, and then I'm gonna garnish on top with some spring onions and fried onions. And yeah, like I said, I made this last night and it was so good, so I'm making it again. 
We have some water boiling and so far we've got the garlic, red pepper, and mushrooms. Now I'm just gonna add some miso in there. Yeah, let that like melt in a little bit as well as a touch of soy sauce. I also just remember we've got some frozen corn and frozen sweet peas, so I'm just gonna throw some of that in there. They'll add some really nice color and just oh, more vegetables to the mix. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the flavor packet! Okay, I saved it. <laughs> There we go, just adding some lime to the side. That is an elevated little <laughs> packet of ramen, if I do say so myself. All right, lunch is served, and we are not gonna watch a whole episode, but just a little bit of Survivor, which Old Louis school. had never seen before. This is like from 18 years ago. And we started from the beginning. But you've never seen it before. Never seen it before. And what do you think so far? I'm addicted, <laughs> I'm obsessed. <laughs> We're like eight, eight seasons in, so yeah. Okay, I want you to try it. Okay, get some vegetables. Mm. Is it better than yesterday? Mm, yeah. Yeah, I added, I added some more things. <laughs> Ready to go. All right, let's go. And I just got really emotional because she was my rock out here. And she was my one true friend. This looks really pretty now. This is still kind of, even though I can organize it, not the prettiest. It's toolboxes and all the electrics and the wiring. So, plan is I've got a curtain pole here and we're gonna mount that here and have a white curtain that draws across. <laughs> Okay, are you ready to see the wallpaper? Yes. I'm excited. Can I come? Yep. Okay. <gasps> oh, it's so good! This is such a good pattern for you to choose. It's I even so managed good. to fix that bit down here that I oh, messed up. Yeah. Oh, wow, it brightens up the space so much. It's so much better, right? So we need to paint this okay. still. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put a curtain right up here. Yeah. Things are coming together. Oh, this one looks good. Yeah, I think one more coat. Yeah, a couple of touch-ups, but... Yeah. And then we're gonna, like, try and get all this tape off here. This is quite a... Quite a tight space. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this is quite a cramped space to be working in. But it already feels bigger because of the how light and nice this looks. Look at that freaking difference. Wow. Oh, you can see it so clearly. <laughs> I'm so proud of us. I know. We're doing it. We're doing the thing. You're seeing when you missed it. Does that look pretty straight to you? Okay, I've attached this curtain roll. Roll? Okay, I've attached it. Okay, I've attached this curtain rod. I've threaded the curtain through. And check this out. Easy. It's that easy. That's pretty good. That's, that's like... That's not gonna come off. That covers all the electrics. Makes it nice and pretty in here. And then quick, easy access if I do need to get to stuff. Perfect. Perfect. And then we're gonna do the same down here. Across here. The curtain rod's ready. Just need to uh, get the curtain ready. This is full horror movie lighting. <laughs> It is the 
the next morning. We are almost finished. Mm -hmm. We had to let the paint dry. We're gonna it's take so good. Yeah, we're gonna take this tape off, we're gonna clean up the rubber, sweep the floor, and then bring everything in. Bring everything in. Um put out the curtains. <laughs> put on the curtains. Alright, let's go. I think we we'll be done in like an hour. Yeah. Let's, let's plan for that. Let's do it. Okay, do you wanna start taking the tape off? Yeah. Also, two more things that I don't think Louis filmed last night. This he put on, what is this called? Uh, it's like a wire sleeve. Yeah, but this cleans up with the two like crazy wires that were around. And then he painted up there too, which looks so good. Yeah. And when the curtain's there, yeah. And I put this light up. Oh yeah! So nice! And look, I stuck the switch here into the front top of the wallpaper. Okay, nice. I think this is perfect. It's definitely long enough to cover everything, but it doesn't quite touch the floor, so hopefully it won't get super dirty. Oh my gosh, this is looking so good. Just need to put that stuff away. Oh, wow. I'm so happy. I am so happy right now. I've been dreaming of this for so long and just to give you a little background story. So I had a Soul Cycle at home bike in LA. I used to go to Soul Cycle classes every day. Then COVID happened and it was like the one thing I missed most um, from going outside and going to events and stuff. And so I got one at home and it was like the best thing ever. I loved it. And then when we were moving onto the bus. Hi. Hello. When we moved out to the bus, <laughs> you done? I'm back. Okay. Anyway, when we were moving onto the bus, I thought that, well, I got rid of it. I sold it. I just thought we don't have space. Like I can't do this. It was very sad. It was really sad. She cried. And, okay. This makes me sound ridiculous, but Soul Cycles, the first workout I found that I just loved it. It felt like I was like fully celebrating my body and I was just dancing along to music and I like loved it. It was like therapy for you, wasn't it? Yeah, fully. Like it, a lot of workouts nowadays, it can feel like you're like punishing your body in a way and it's not necessarily enjoyable to be doing it, but you know that it's good for you. But Soul Cycle, I'm loving it while I'm doing it. That, that was a big difference for me. So anyway, we sold it and I just couldn't really get into a good workout routine after that. I've tried and um, obviously I would love to incorporate yoga and Pilates and all that stuff like as well as SoulCycle, but now that I've, we've got this again, um, we bought a new one. And actually it worked out perfectly because we bought it like off Facebook Marketplace so someone was selling theirs and we actually bought it for less than I sold mine for, so it worked out. But I'm just so, so happy that we're gonna have it in here. And you might think it's a little bit ridiculous to have a workout bike in a bus. And we'll see how it works with like how bouncy it is. And obviously there's not much height space, but the main reason really to get it is we're moving to Costa Rica and there's no way we're gonna be able to get one <laughs> when we're down there. You can't really get one delivered to Costa Rica. So even if it's not like the most practical thing right now in the bus, it means that I'll get to have one in my house in Costa Rica for many years to come. So that's what makes the most sense. But now that we've done this, it's actually going to be so enjoyable to work out back here too. Yeah, and then you're not like faced with the toolboxes and grime. We've made it so pretty. I think this is maybe my favorite part of the bus it's now. It's so good. It's so nice. Okay, so yeah. Oh, this curtain looks great. Well. I know. Okay, so I think the next step is to bring the bike in. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> wow. This is one thing that you may not think you would ever see in a school bus. <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone else, if there's anyone else that lives in a van or a bus that has an exercise bike, let me know because this is pretty crazy. Okay, should we position it? Yeah. Or should I put the screen on first? Yeah, I think we do the screen. Oh my god. This is so cool. I think I'm gonna use this as well. I just need to get my cycling shoes from the UK when I go back for Christmas. And they have their little bits on the bottom that clip into these pedals. Alright. <laughs> mm. 
now the big thing is before Raya does her first workout on the bike it needs to be strapped down the one bad thing about this part of the bus is it's the most bouncy when we're on the road and we don't want the bike breaking or flying into the back so I've been giving a long hard thought of how we're going to fix this and originally let me see if I can find the bits my first thought was buying some metal strapping cutting it to length bending it and then bolting this into the ground but it looks kind of ugly and then I realized we could just use these thick rubber straps which look way better and uh, they're pretty heavy duty and we can bolt those in and I think because there's not much give in this rubber it's like very very uh, thick I think these will hold this down in place so I've got these big kind of self-tapping screw bolt things and I'm gonna go straight into the floor and the floor is like this thick with the wood so I think that should work we just need to get the bike perfectly in position first mm -hmm. So close, but what's the problem now? Okay, so the wood that I put in place to just hold the battery secure, uh, it sticks out too far. But thankfully I don't need this bit sticking out, so I'm gonna take it off, cut it, mm -hmm. put it back in, and then we can shift the bike over. We only need it over like another inch yeah. or two. Um, but it makes a difference, because especially for me, it's like almost okay, but Louis' shoulder's obviously wider than mine, so he won't be able to ride it with this here. It needs to come over this way a little bit more. Okay. Alright. The wood has been cut, we've shifted the bike across a bit, and Raya is going to check to see whether this is a good position. How's that feel? Yeah, that feels great. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All the bolts are in, to this end, to this end. Ooh! Oh, it looks good! Try and shake it. Oh, wow! Isn't that just flipping solid? Yeah. That ain't going nowhere. No, that is amazing. And it's actually good that it's rubber so that it does have a little bit of yeah. so it doesn't like scratch it. Oh my god! I can't believe this is here. This is so good. <laughs> yeah. We need to figure out a place for the weights. Should we just put them in the back for now? I think just there is nice. I like it. Okay, we're gonna do the finishing touches and then show you the end result. Have a little workout. What are the last things we've been doing? We just we put the weights down. We just put the yoga mats. We taped down the wire and plugged in the bike. I think we're ready. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Do you want to turn it on? Let's do it. Ooh. <laughs> I'm really relieved because we've been driving for a few days without it being bolted down and I was just really hoping the screen didn't get knocked or anything but we're all good now. Mm -hmm. Look, Ooh, I'm shaking it as hard as I can, I ain't going nowhere. Okay. And also, the last part of the gym is actually not inside, do you want to show them? We've oh, kind of yeah. showed you before but... I don't think we've actually done it, so I just bought some new gloves, do you want to come out? This is one of the first things that Louis added to the bus. One of the first things. Haven't used it a lot yet. But now you have gloves. So. Now I have my gloves because my <laughs> hands are getting super calloused. My chin up part. Oh yeah, baby! Nice. <laughs> so I can be doing chin-ups whilst you're using the soul cycle bike inside. Yeah. There it is. You ready for a workout? Yeah. Okay. Raya is starting her first soul cycle class in the bus. How are you feeling? It feels good. It feels secure. It's yeah? Not, not too bouncy? No. Literally people have already stopped in this Lowe's parking lot to ask us what we're doing and they love it. This is so cool. What the heck? I cannot believe this. I'm so happy for you! I'm so happy. High five! <laughs> oh yeah. Awesome. Trying to 
pause and talk to you guys for a sec because I feel like there might be some people out there that are like, why do you care so much? It's a workout, but I feel like relax. I get it. However, this is so much more than just physical exercise for me. When you're active, it's like unbelievable for your mental health and I can just feel such a difference in my mood and how I feel and everything when I've moved my body and specifically move my body out of celebration for my body and love for it because like I said so many workouts are like shame driven um, even I've seen because it's about to be Thanksgiving and I've seen people post that their gyms are having workout classes like earn the bird or whatever like like you're about to eat so much you need to earn it by like pushing your body as far as it can go and that's just not how we're supposed to be moving our bodies and I think a lot of people don't think about that specifically they just think oh if I work out then it's good for me and like is it causing more mental damage if the whole time that you're working out you're just thinking about how much you hate your body and how much you want to change it so yeah, that's why I said finding this exercise made such a huge difference for me. And I hope that all of you out there find your own version of this. For a lot of people it's running, dancing, it could be weightlifting, whatever it is that just like lights you up and you're so excited to do it and the whole time that you're doing it you're thinking about how you're doing it because you love your body versus wanting to change it. So yeah, okay, are we done? Is that the, the video? So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well. Should I get back in? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hope you guys like this. This is. I just can't believe we did it in 24 hours. Like. I'm such, so proud of us. Oh my god, such a huge difference. The before and afters. Woo. Unreal. Thank you all for joining us on this journey, <laughs> and thank you to Anchor for sponsoring this video. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye.